Right, so we are so, so close to the March event, but the leaks regarding the event have not stopped, and we have renders from Luke Miani showcasing the Mac Studio, the Studio Display, and also new colors for the iPad Air 5 and the iPhone 13. And so let's delve into it guys, but first make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. And with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so massive disclaimer to begin with, while Luke Miani is an amazing YouTuber, he's not a very credible source. And so do take this information with a grain of salt. But anyways, let's delve into the meaty stuff, and that surrenders of the Mac Studio. So yes, over the last few days, there's been tons of last minute rumors regarding this new Mac Studio that could replace the higher end Mac Mini in the lineup. So yes, we now have renders of the actual design, and this basically looks like four Mac Minis stacked on top. In fact, you might remember that initial rumors regarding the Mac Pro did suggest this. And so yes, I do see the Mac Studio filling in as a replacement of sorts for the Mac Pro. Till of course Apple finishes work on a fully upgradable Apple Silicon Mac Pro that should launch in 2023. But till then we have the Mac Studio that should offer the M1 Pro, the M1 Max, and also maybe the M1 Max Duo chip for those professionals that do need more performance. And yes, I know some of you guys might be wondering about the M1 Max quads, and well, apparently that's not happening anymore, because allegedly it's not possible to give us four M1 Maxes put together, and so again, Apple is gonna work on a completely new chip that should be equivalent to the M1 Max quads with the Mac Pro in 2023. But for the time being, we have the Mac Studio. Now the design does look great, but there's not much to it because it's literally a box. I guess I like the rounded edges on the bottom and the vents tucked away nicely below, but for the most part, this design's pretty safe. Honestly, the more exciting news has to be the display Luke shows off, because this apparently could be the external display that's going to be affordable and for the masses. So yeah, this for the most part looks very similar to the Pro Display, but it's going to have a 27-inch display that's not mini-LED, and so as a result, there's going to be slightly thicker bezels. Now this is a bummer to be honest, but of course, with mini LED constraints and mini LED products being delayed, I do think it's a smart move that Apple's giving us LCD for their lower end display. Now, thankfully, there's no pro stand with this. It's going to be the regular iMac stand that will be included with the purchase. And as for the price, Luke interestingly says it could be $1,000. Now, he does say this is a prediction or a leak, but honestly, $1,000 for a 27-inch iMac looking display is going to be great. There is one thing that's a little sus with these renders though, and that is there are no ports. I find that hard to believe. We should see a few Thunderbolt ports on the back. And so yes, I do think that part of these renders are incorrect. Anyways, moving on to the smaller releases, Luke believes we could see a green iPhone 13. It's gonna be a darker shade, something similar to the Apple Watch Series 7. And to be honest, I'm not a fan. I do prefer lighter shades. And so I do kind of hope Luke is wrong about this and we see a lighter green or maybe an orange instead. And finally, we have a purple hue coming to the iPad Air 5 which does make me think the iPad Air 5 is going to have the same color options as the iPad Mini 6. Now this would suck because I'm not a fan of the Mini 6 colors. I would prefer to have more saturated, bold colors like we see on the 24-inch iMac. And so again, I'm secretly hoping Luke's wrong about this. And we do see some bright colors with the iPad Air 5. He did also say there is a chance we might not see the iPhone SE 3 at this event or a new MacBook. And while the latter made sense, I do think we're going to see the iPhone SE 3 at this event. It's practically confirmed, and so I do disagree with that. Anyways guys, tell me your thoughts on these tidbits in the comments below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video link above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.